Hey everyone, and welcome to Rick's Gadgets. So today, I want to kind of give you an overview of my home automation system. So I've been using a product called HomeSeer. Been using it for several years now. It has a lot of great interfaces, and you're kind of not boxed into one technology. You're able to use various technologies, old legacy X10, even up to the new Z-Wave Iris products. So what I'm gonna do is kind of give you a brief overview of my hardware setup, my wiring closet, which is not very great, but it gets the job done. Also, kind of wanna dive in and show you the basic setup of the HomeSeer system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few pictures here and a few slides, and I'll talk about each one. And what I wanna kind of do is kind of do a mini series for my first few videos. I wanna kind of dive into different aspects of HomeSeer. Just too much to do in one video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut over, show you some slides here, and give you some talking points on each. So I'm going to start off in my wiring closet. To the left, the white box, that's my cable modem. And to the far right, the blue cylinder, that is my Wi-Fi router. <clears throat> Since it only has one access point, I've added a network switch is the black box right in front of it. That provides me a hardwired connection to the PC in this closet as well as hardwired connections to various parts of the house. The device in the back with the screen that is my whole house energy monitor. It gives me the information on and stats on how much energy is being used throughout the house. The box to the left that's just a normal battery backup that I use to feed power to the devices when the power's out. The black box right in the front, that is my um, PC that I run for HomeSeer. I decided to use a small form factor just because I wanted to kind of keep things simple. This provides me the room in the closet. Um, I used to have a laptop computer there, but once it died, I placed it with this, a little bit smaller. It's not a very high powered PC, but HomeSeer, the requirements are not that demanding unless you have uh, other devices or, or plugins that require a lot of scripting you can get by with something small so that's what I decided to do this one here it's a, a quantum byte it's kind of inexpensive wasn't very much has Wi-Fi built in so if you're not near your PC and here I just want to kind of give an overview of what it takes as you can see the requirements aren't that big Pentium computer really most everything today is 1.5 gigs so, you know, it doesn't take a lot of memory. They also have one built in with a Raspberry Pi system at, through HomeSeer. It comes with the software and the uh, hardware requirement. So look into that. So here's my first interface. This is my old legacy X10. It basically provides the interface from HomeSeer to the power line. X10 is an old power line type uh, of, of way of communicating with devices around the house and it has um, radio signal built in because you can see it has an antenna so there's two components to it I'm slowly moving away from this because it is an older technology and gonna move into something newer which is gonna come up here next <clears throat> so this is my Z-Wave controller this is the newest um, product that I've added to it Z-Wave just gives you a little more flexibility because it is all um, RF based all the devices talk to each other their network through each other and this one point basically sends out the commands to the various parts uh, pieces that I have around the house so you can add devices uh, any z-wave devices some of the smart things devices you can be added motion sensors door sensors thermostats all that can be controlled right through this device as you can see my setup is not that elaborate. It doesn't take much to get the system up and running. But now, really what I want to kind of focus on is a little bit more about HomeSeer. So HomeSeer is a software automation product. Uh, it comes in two different flavors. You can buy the software yourself and uh, if you have your own PC or a dedicated PC to put it on. They also sell different controllers with the software built into it. One of them is a Home uh, Z Troller which like I said is built off of a Raspberry Pi so it's a very small form factor uh, you're limited what you can attach to them so what I would recommend is 
going on their website and just kind of seeing what uh, best suits suit your needs. Um, like I said, I went with the uh, the just the software package, and I supply my own computer. And also, what I want to do, um, I'm not going to do it in this video, but in a, the next video, I'm going to dive into a little bit more about the setup of HomeSeer, how you actually go in and add devices. And just here's like one of the device that I have. It's a simple controller that you plug in, plug a lamp into it, turn the lamps off and on. Um, this is a Z-Wave product, so it's one of the newer devices. You can also get the ones that will replace an existing receptacle. So if you don't want a box hanging out, out of your wall, you can get one that looks like a normal receptacle or one is uh, a switch and the other one's just on all the time. So that's one option. Here um, is a, uh, a motion sensor. So what this will do is it'll just pick up motion in your room. It even has a built-in uh, light sensor, so it'll tell you if the room's light or dark. So that kind of gives you, um, you know, the ability to kind of do additional things as well, more than just a motion sensor. But these are just two things. There, there's hundreds of devices you can get. You know, like I said, thermostats are controllable, everything. So one reason that I went with HomeSeer uh, over other types of products, um, there's some out there that basically just do simple events. Um, and a lot of people like that because they're not that technically oriented and they kind of want it just simple. And they'll turn the lights on at 9 o'clock and turn them off at, you know, 6 a.m. the next morning. Or they'll alert you if someone walks into your house. You know, those are fine. But home Siri, it kind of gives you that little more um, flexibility. And so, so, for example, I can have it turn on based on motion at night only. I don't want to turn the lights on if I walk in in the middle of the day. So what I can do is I can tailor it more to my needs. Another one I've got is, hey, there's nobody in my garage for the past 30 minutes based on a motion sensor, and there's a sensor on the door that lets me know that the door's up. Hey, close the garage door. That way the door's not open all the time. So you can do it based on conditional events. So it gives you just that little extra flexibility to make this, the, you know, your home a little more you and to not have lights on or have it doing things just at set times. You can make it conditional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link below to the uh, HomeSeer website, kind of get some more information. And what I'll do is I'll put a, a link to a couple of these devices uh, out there as well. And what I'd like for you to do is let me know what you would like to see. I mean, if you want to know something more about HomeSeer, um, like I said, I'm going to cover some more topics in a future video and uh, to kind of clear up, because I know this isn't a lot of information and I haven't told you more about how it actually works and how it looks. So I'm going to dive into that on the next video. But if there's something that you want to see, give me a comment below, let me know. And also, please subscribe and like my channel because I want to keep bringing this to you, you know, this content to you, you know, future. So please subscribe and like my channel and I look forward for you coming back. Thank you. We lose ourselves